Hello friends. Today we will study the graph of real function. The concept of graph gives an idea about its the domain, about its range, whether the relation is a function or not, and what type of function it is. So concept of graph is very important for you. Look at here, the graph of a real function gives an idea and geometrical visualization of the problem related to real valued function and real function. So, graph of a real function consists of points. Points here, the x axis, y axis, this is called Cartesian plane. So, and we plot the points taking for x and the corresponding the value of fx. And here, as it is a real function, we are taking all values x belongs to r and the y is fx also are real numbers. So, here x, comma y, x and the y, and where y is fx is a point on this plane. And joining the points, we will get the graph of the function. So, here the domain consists of finite points and you can easily plot the points on a plane. But if the domain contains infinitely many real numbers, then in such case, we plot enough points to get an idea about the shape of the graph. Now, the graph of a function should obey the following rules. So, so, so before you start the drawing the graph, we should know as the graph of a function is a subset of the plane and these are the points on the plane. So, they are the subsets and it is uniquely determined by the function y is equal to fx. And for each x, there exists at one point on the graph only. So, Look at here in this figure. This is a test. This test is called vertical line test. Here, what we are doing, we will draw a line. We we'll draw a line parallel to y axis at a point x equal to a. Suppose this is your a. So, if you draw a line, we see that this line y is equals to a, x is equals to a, it cuts the graph at two points, but it should cut at most one point. So, this is not the graph of a function. Similarly, this one. So, anywhere if you draw a line, it cuts the graph at two distinct points. So, it is not a graph of a function. Here, so many points it cuts. So, this is not a graph of a function. So, this test is called vertical line test. Now, here we are discussing some important function. The first one is a graph of a identity function. Here, we are taking x, if x is equals to x, that is, y and x the same value. So, if you take and this comes, this concept comes from the general form of a linear equation ax plus b where you take this value a as 1 and the value of b as 0. So, you are getting it is fx is equals to 1 into x that is x plus 0. So, fx and so here 
the important thing y and x have the same value so if you take minus 1 it will be minus 1 so this is the minus 1 point so we are getting this point as minus 1 comma 1 then if you take 0 the value of y is 0 so this point if you take 1 so when it is 1 y is also 1 if you take 2 y also 2 so if you plot these points and you join we we'll get a straight line through the origin and you know that what is the angle of here the angle is 45 degrees actually this line bisects the first quadrant in bisects the third quadrant here for all positive x we are getting y also positive and here for all negative x we are getting y is negative but one thing is it a functional graph yes because for every x if you test the vertical line test we we'll see it cuts the graph at a single point only and how will determine the domain of this function domain means the values of x so for every x whether it is positive or it is negative for positive we are getting positive x for negative we are getting y also negative and when x 0 to infinity we are getting all points and from 0 to minus m to 0 also y have a value so the domain of fx that is for every real numbers we are getting an x the domain is r and the range the this is a graph for all positive y there is a point for all negative y there is a point so this is also r so this function is the identity function now we are going to graph of its squared function here we are taking the function as fx equal to x square so when you take the values if you put x equal to 0 this is 0 if you put x equal to minus 1 so minus 1 whole square is equals to 1 so this becomes 1 if you put minus 2 it becomes 4 if you take 1 1 if you take 2 4 so you see we plot the points 1 1 2 comma 4 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 minus 2 comma 4 and if we join we are getting the graph like u set and this is parabola parabolic form and for every x here also if you check by the vertical line test we we'll see that for every x there is a one point only so this is the graph of a function that is a squared function and for every positive x we are getting positive value for every negative x here also y is positive so the domain all real numbers from minus infinity to plus infinity so it is r or you can say minus infinity to plus infinity this also you can write minus infinity to plus infinity and the range range from 0 to infinity values of y are only positive value no the negative value of y there is no point on the graph so we can write here 0 to infinity okay thank you for testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos log on to www.tubelessons.net